I've officially received the very first Ipsy package for the month of April and I'm just mumble jumbled in my brain It's super freaking confusing So I got frustrated for a quick second there because the box says Ipsy, but this is no longer an Ipsy box <laughs> So this happens to now be the BoxyCharm by Ipsy. But this was sent to me in PR so that I can unbox, review, and reveal for you guys and all that good stuff. So we're gonna go ahead and do that. Typically, I have my glam bag, the like the base one, the $13 one, thrown in here and everything is mixed up. And most of the items are inside of the little baggie. This time around, they completely just placed the actual bag and its items in a separate bag, which is great because it eliminates any confusion from what should have been in my BoxyCharm by Ipsy and then the bag so I'm gonna go ahead review the items out of the boxy charm by Ipsy for the month of April and then tomorrow we'll be ready we're gonna do the bags unboxing review try on all of that item number one is the Tove Gan Tove Gan red remedy toner is the toner red though is the pregunta bottles different it smells like an essential oil it has a little bit of a red hue. Nice size, I don't mind it. And it's a toner, so we're gonna try that. Two of these items I have actually am getting in my box. Uh, uh, the LYS bronzer stick. Packaging is beautiful, but it reminds me of uh, the hourglass ones. So it's not super unique, this little triangular pyramid shade, you know, but it's nice. This is in the shade Harmony. As you guys may recall, when I showed you guys what my choice options were for this month's BoxyCharm by Ipsy, they ended up selecting a really, really deep and rich shade for me, which I figured wasn't gonna work. Let me grab my phone. Cause girl, we're like besties and we need to have a conversation because they chose a really deep shade, was well, not gonna work for me, so I ended up purchasing an extra one. The shade Ipsy selected for me was in strength. So let's go to my orders. That is freaking hilarious. The shade that I chose that I wanted to purchase for myself to make sure that I got a shade that would work in the bronzer, I chose Harmony. Then I ended up getting a Gloss Balm Heat by Fenty Beauty in Lemon Lava. I don't already own this one. I have the frosty white one, but that's just a regular lip gloss. And then I have the red one. It's like chitty or something like that but it's red, it's beautiful. And this one, it says lemon lava. Let's smell her and see if it smells like a lemon. A little, a little bit. So this is what we're gonna do. Let's just apply her right now. Cause this is a lip, oh, she's pretty. She has the little glitters in it. It's a gloss, but because it has the shimmers, it's like extra shimmery. I like that. Let's see what that's gonna look like later on. If anything, I'll probably take it off, go in with a lip liner and then pop this back on. But I really liked the other one. The color is pretty and the formula actually plumps a little bit, but it doesn't burn really bad. So that works, I'm excited for that. I ended up getting the Origins Jin Zing into the Glow Brightening Serum, which we will use this right after the toner today. I was considering snagging this as an add-on, but something told me don't do it. And I'm glad that I didn't, cause check her out, I got her. Let's smell it. It smells a little citrusy doesn't smell bad and it's like on the peachy side when it comes to color it's not white and then item number five is the alloy palette by natasha denona which oh she's pretty do i have this no i don't already own this but what's funny is they chose this for my paid box as well so i'm gonna have an extra one to share with you guys and be ready i am gonna announce the giveaway this month hopefully within the next few days i'll announce a giveaway and i'll pop these babies in there for those of you who are interested in signing up just make sure that you are subscribed that you have the notification bell and all of that so you don't miss out on any of this but yeah okay so these were all the items i'm gonna bring you guys up close and we're gonna play around with them we're gonna try them, see how my skin reacts to it and all that stuff. Let's start off with the toner. And because I'm using one of these cotton rounds, oh my goodness, I just spilled some. I'm hoping you guys will see. This is not a clear toner. I mean it is, but it has a little hue of a color to it. It's like a really light orange pink situation. I'm gonna apply this on my skin. I did wash my face prior to starting the filming. And the only reason why it looks this decent right now is because I ended up using pimple patches, which I swear by, and I left them on overnight, you guys. My skin is looking really good so far. She looks dewy. She looks glowy. She looks healthy. Okay, so the toner is cute. Of course it's a toner, so you need ongoing use in order to notice a difference, but I don't feel itching of the skin, and whenever I've had a negative reaction to toners, I will get itchy really, really fast and red fairly quickly. But we don't have that going on, so we're good. Let's move on to the next item, and that is gonna be the Ginseng by Origins, which Origins is pricey. Let's, okay, one, two, let's just do two pumps, because 
We're gonna go in with makeup. Yeah, it's a little on the citrusy side. Now let's get this baby in. So let's really press this onto the skin. And remember when you're gonna go in with makeup, you wanna make sure you give yourself a good at least one minute in between. Minimum one minute in between before going in with the next item. That way you're giving your skin some time to absorb. So far, she's looking good. She's looking plump. I kinda wish I didn't have to go in with any makeup because obviously we have stuff going on, but it's okay. I'll make sure I do my full skincare routine afterwards. Let's feel this tacky. Okay. Now because it's a serum and it is tacky I think I'm gonna skip on primer and I'll just do foundation over that It's definitely doing what it said it would do. It's giving me that luminosity It says into the glow brightening serum. So the brightening effects we're not gonna see today We will see that with ongoing use However, into the glow. We're glowy, girl. We're glowy. So um, I'm gonna go ahead and start prepping my skin and I'll be back because we still have to try these three items. All right, girl, we're gonna try this bronzer stick and I refuse to complain because today is a very good brow day. That was really easy. I sometimes have moments where I'm like, why am I having a hard time with my brows? There's really no reason I have a hard time with your brows if you're used to doing it as often as like I do them and somehow I've had, I've had days where I'm just like, I just wanna shave them off and start all over again, but no. They're cooperating today, which is amazing. This is really creamy. Look, a piece of it just came off. So you want to be kind of careful, especially if you're in a rush. And then because I only did a swatch and we don't know how this is going to work, we're doing a little bit. And then worst case, we'll go ahead and add more. I'm actually glad I got Harmony because it gives me an opportunity to see what in the world I paid for. I'm going to kind of tap and blend as I go. Yeah, you see the shade that they were gonna send me or that they are sending me because they chose it for me and I couldn't change it. It's, it's much darker than this. Although the question is whether or not I'd be able to pull that off, maybe. But like the smallest amount ever. Look, I'm only tapping and it's blending out really nicely. I am pressing it onto the skin. All right, you always want it to look flawless and seamless. So with no additional product, whatever was left on my beauty sponge, I am going to pat along the edges of the bronzer. That way it'll look nice and like gradient, airbrushed. The bronzer looks really nice. I can't complain. I'll tell you though, it does have like a little bit of a shimmer. It's not a matte finish. So it's satiny if you will. So for the summer, it's gonna give you the hot girl summer effect. An easy, flawless J-Lo glow if you will. If you don't want to look dewy or slightly shimmery, you may not necessarily like this. But I would say just go in with a powder over it very lightly and you should be okay. Let me apply some blush really fast. Oh my goodness. Gerard Cosmetics Clean Canvas in medium. And the medium is gonna be perfect for this color story so that works let's dip into the palette i think the first shade i want to use is going to be this one over here i'm gonna take that this is an olimar brush it's kind of long not super dense and it blends all at once and we're gonna do some color building so you don't really have to worry too much about precision at least i'm not going to i'm gonna apply her here go back and forth and then once i have the majority of the product off of the brush i'm gonna blow this outer area out a little bit I'll bring it all the way in here. All right, same brush. I'm gonna dip into this. It's a full tone brown shade. So it kind of gives you hints of gray. And you guys know how I feel about gray eyeshadows specifically to kind of like smoke your eye out. They're beautiful. So we're gonna concentrate. Look how, oh, all I did was tap. We're gonna concentrate that out here. I did get a little bit of fallout and I tapped out just a smidge. So it's a good thing I chose to wait to kind of clean up the under eye area. I'm gonna blend this back and forth. Again, precision is not going to matter in this situation. Look at that intensity. And are you able to create this look without this palette? Yes. If you find colors that are fairly similar, absolutely. However, I just love that Natasha Denona is being featured in beauty boxes. Now I'm gonna grab a clean fluffy brush and I'm gonna vigorously blend along those edges. Not out here, I want to blend this deeper shade into that crease shade that we blew out, but it's gonna look really nice. So you just kinda wanna blend back and forth. I'm not gonna pull out and lift. I'm gonna kinda keep it a little on the round side today. With a fluffy eyeshadow brush, I'm gonna dip into the very first shade. It's like a deep copper, but it's not super warm. I'm gonna take that, I'm gonna tap that on here, bring her up just a smidge. I'm gonna go back in with that brush, no additional product. That way I get a nice gradient between one color and the other. 
And I don't want a lot of shimmer and shine like this, which is why I'm really going in. I'm going to apply a little more, which is why I'm going in and blending and building the shades. I want that depth out here, that intensity. Now we've got to grab another brush. We're going to dip into that deeper shade and I'm going to drag that as close to the lash line as possible. So I'm not going to smoke it up. I think that the top should take the cake today. But I do want it to look like we have a little something, something going on down here. I'm gonna go ahead curl my lashes and then I'm gonna add the It Superhero Mascara on the top and bottom lashes. I applied two coats of the It Superhero Mascara and the eyes are freaking done. They're stunning, they're pretty, they're wearable, they're like every day. Now, now we have to fix the lips. They're not all that plump, they're slightly plump and it's okay. So let's remove this, apply a lip liner and then apply a little more and see what that looks like. Oh yeah, that's pretty. I just did something with this lip combo. Mm -hmm. For reference, the lip combo is the lip balm that I ended up getting in this month's box along with the lip liner by P. Louise called the Shady Lady. It's a deeper, rich chocolate, like it's like a milk chocolatey brown. I applied it all over the perimeter of my lips, ombre out the lips with nothing else and then I went in with this on top of it and I think it works beautifully with the eye. However, you can go total nude if you wanted to, go in with the nude lip gloss, a flexi slick, a lipstick, and it would look amazing. I just wanted to do something that wasn't necessarily full on nude as usual, but this looks really good. So you know what? Let's get into my product roundup. The Gloss Balm Heat. Yes, I really like the shade. It's gonna work with a lot more nudes versus the red one that I had. You kind of have to be careful with what nudes you use it with or it's gonna look just kind of weird. So this works, I like it. I was able to use a deeper nude lip liner and it still looks cute. So I like I, I want to try all the shades. So this was really nice. It's always a yes for me when it comes to Fenty. My skin liked the toner first impressions. I don't know going forward what's going to happen when it comes to skincare, i.e. these two items. We have to use them on an ongoing basis in order to really know whether or not it's going to work for you. So instantly, yes, it was nice and my skin didn't react negatively to it. So we're going to keep trying it. And when it comes to the Origins Ginseng, oh my God, I wanted to add this as an add-on. Something told me not to. I'm glad that I didn't. Same thing, we're gonna try this ongoing and we're gonna see whether or not my skin is going to agree with it. The fragrance was nice and I'm not big on citrus, but it was nice. It was like a nice airy citrusy fragrance. So I'm not mad at her. This was cool. I like the size because it's not super, super huge and it comes with pump, so I'm down for that. Then we have the bronzer stick. It's easy to get mad, right? Because I bought one because they chose the wrong shade, but then in the PR they sent me the right shade. So I know, it's happening again. I pay for a box and the items that I'm getting in a box that I'm spending money on and then add-ons and all of that, right? Um, I'm also getting in the PR box, but I'm starting to look at things differently. Since I have it, guess what? Now I have two of these, a richer shade and a like medium tan shade to give away. So I'm not all that mad because I get to share with you guys. And then this palette. Who could be mad at Natasha Denona? Her formulas are nice, and I know these palettes could go for, what, 40 semi dollars, and it's better than 25 for the really, really mini ones. This palette is really nice. I was able to create a really easy, fast, nice look, and it was just like effortless, man. I don't know what else to say other than this was a really nice variation, and for those of you who are interested in snagging the two extra items, that I'm getting in the other box, be ready, because I am gonna host a giveaway, so you do not wanna sleep on it. So if you're new to the channel, you've enjoyed this content, please consider joining the family here on the YouTube, and all you have to do is hit the subscribe button down below. And if you did enjoy this content, Miha, you do not need to leave. I upload six days out of the week, and I already have a ton of content for you to go check out, so please feel free to check out my playlists and other videos. I'm gonna suggest two videos here on screen. I'm hoping you'll consider checking out, and if you do, I'll see you guys over there.